This is a WUG, and it was part of the first study that showed that children learn generalized rules of language instead of just memorizing all the words in all their forms. Like if a kid knows that the plural of which is witches, it could be that they've memorized and correlated the pair of words, or it could be that they've learned that a word like witch generally becomes witches when it's pluralized. So in 1958, psycholinguist Jean Berko Gleason came up with some completely new nonsense words and asked a batch of preschoolers and first graders to modify them. Because you can't memorize different forms of words that you never heard before. Now there's another one. There are two of them. There are two... what would you say? In general, adult opinion is almost unanimous. Those are wugs right there. And in the study, 76% of preschoolers and 97% of first graders said that those there were wugs. And there were a bunch of other nonsense words to test acquisition of other forms of plurals. Like, this is a gutch. Now there are two gutches. And in that case, only 28% of preschoolers and 38% of first graders got the gutches. And they made up nonsense verbs like spow and gling to see how the kids threw them into the past tense. The test is a pretty big deal to linguists. It's considered essential to learning how and when children acquire language and reach milestones. And those linguists make wug plushies and drink from wug mugs. And sometimes cringe-ass internet creators even get wug tattoos put on them. <laughs>